What's up gamers, my name is Sayuji and we're back again for some more Cube World 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 Okay, anyways uh, In the last episode folks, as you may or may not have known if you watched it We ended up freeing the last gnome of the biome I think he's the last gnome, thank goodness And uh, it was like a purple four star, it was really really difficult to do But, out of it, something very special happened We've actually unlocked legendary gear for purchase from shops now i've actually gone through all three of the different towns and while there is a lot more legendary armor that we can end up getting unfortunately there's not really any legendary weapons that are worthwhile yeah so this was pretty much the strongest piece of gear that i could find out of all of them just out of comparing the prices and everything and this one just gave us the most bang for the buck so we've actually got ourselves a god sword now and unfortunately no gold all of the gold that we ended up using up to this point is gone <laughs> so that kind of sucks but hopefully that'll end up making it so that we're strong enough to actually do anything to some of these enemies also, while I was out exploring, I just randomly ran into, it, it was like a three-star bug that was, for some reason, extremely powerful. I didn't know why he took so long to die, but when he did, he actually ended up dropping some legendary shoulder pads. Cool, right? So that threw our defense a little bit higher, uh, and then I accidentally actually bought these legendary shoes. The only other legendary items that we can buy are 160 coins each, and then there's a legendary necklace and legendary gloves. Which the legendary necklace would make a little bit more of a difference, I think, just because this is blue jumping up to a five star, as opposed to these, which are four up to a five star, which obviously a five star is still going to end up being worthwhile. And I would love, love, love to be able to go for that. But it's just, frankly, it's just way above my pay grade. We can't afford it, man. Like, seriously. Uh, was there any? Yeah, so here's the necklaces, which you can see gives us a little bit more haste, which is more attack speed. These are 240, actually. Yeah, I guess because they're, like, so good, right? Uh, but I guess that means that, uh, yeah, we just straight up can't afford it. So hopefully with that, we can take on some purple uh, dungeons. We've still got this crater, which is still considered a three-star blue. Let's try it out. I mean, every time I've gone in here, it just absolutely destroys my face, but it means that there is the possibility of getting gear out of it because it's got a sword icon. So maybe we just kind of wasted our gold in order to upgrade so that we can hopefully end up getting a legendary sword out of this. The problem is that we need to get a legendary two-handed sword for me to actually think that it's worthwhile. Because I don't care about getting the one-handed items and stuff. Oh my gosh! We're so powerful now. Bam! Like, jeez louise. If this doesn't make it strong, like, if, if we're four and five star here, if we're not strong enough to take on these mages, then clearly there is something wrong with this game. Okay, there is actually a weirder boss. I thought I thought we tried taking this place on, but I guess not. Maybe maybe this is just like a respawn boss or something, or maybe I didn't actually go in here. Ha ha! All right, we are uh, we're a force to be reckoned with. Blue, no problem. Get out of town, dude. Like, jeez, we're one shotting them. That gave us a lot of gold, and out of it we got a purple axe. I mean, it would have been cool just you know as a random item that we could have obtained uh but it is nothing compared to the godlike weapon that we have now that was awesome that was actually really really good like oh my gosh i don't know why i had a star marked there okay that's cool gamers so let's actually go over here because this one this one is actually a four star dude so this is a four star dungeon meaning that the gear we get out of here should guarantee be lemon, uh, be, I was gonna say lemonade. It should be a legendary. It should be a legendary. If it's not a legendary, then I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh, an invasion. An invasion, guys. This is the end. This is the end. Can I end up taking these guys on? Yeah, we're actually no problem here. I mean, this guy knocked me down and if we fight more than one of them, then maybe we'll end up dealing with some trouble. But uh, one enemy on his own, get out of the way. This invasion is freaking me out, dude. Like, it's pretty cool, but uh, that's a lot of enemies that are now just in the open world. Thankfully, they don't seem to have any alliance, so we can just go in here and pick up, uh, you know, take all the spoils. Yes! Yes! 
Thank goodness we're so tanky. Okay, maybe we're not. Woo! Fight them. What the? Did he drop down? What are you doing here? Could you maybe help me? With what? What do I need your help with? The invaders? Steel Empire forces have invaded the Enchanted Forest. Fight them. Okay. How many of them do I need to beat? Hey, he's better than me. He snuck up behind me like a monster. Huh. Oh my gosh. And these guys seem to drop some pretty decent stuff, dude. So I guess it's just a fighting episode today. Good, because otherwise it's just been nonstop exploration. And so far, so good. Like we're fighting these guys one at a time. Does he seriously want us to get rid of every single one of these guys? Because there's a lot of them. There's a little too much, I would argue, of these enemies. Like, man, alive. There's just so many of them, dude. All right, you stupid. No, I want to. I, I don't like the fact that middle mouse is tied to our plunging attack. Because you have to let go of every single key in order to end up having it actually register, you know? Like, it's kind of it's kind of tricky that way. Oh my gosh. I'll save you. Could you maybe help me? Yeah, I'm trying to. Shut up. I also didn't even use my ult. That's the sad thing. We're also dealing with a guy with a laser, which, of course, is going to end up being devastating for us. I got you. I got you. Huh! Look at that power, dude. See, that plunging attack is so good when you actually pull it off. But the fact that it takes all of our stamina. Okay, so I, we, I guess we have to help all of these NPCs or something. Maybe that's the trick. And there seems to be a lot of them, dude. There is a lot. Oh my gosh, when we get crits. Actually, that might not have been a crit. Thankfully, these white mages are like really, really powerful. So we're, we seem to be doing okay for actually like saving them. They seem to just be invincible. So they just take all the aggro and then we just fly in last minute and take everything down. <laughs> like, look at this, dude. It's so cheaty and there's such good gear in here. Like man alive, we're getting such good stuff. What is that? Plant fiber. This is awesome. So far, this is a great dungeon, dude. And they're all distracted. That's the best part. Now, the actual dungeon itself, I thought it was rescuing a dude because I've been here before. And when I first checked this place out, it, it, there was like a dude that was kidnapped and we needed to rescue him. But now it seems like it's just all about this invasion. So maybe it's scaled because we like got a little stronger uh, or something. I'm not sure. Get out of here. You can't even heal out of that, dude. No thanks. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and take on a punch of these guys at a time. We should be fine. Worst case, we can always use our ult, you know? Which we don't really use very often in here, which is the cool thing. Okay, here's some... That's just random frog dudes. They are not part of the Steel Empire. Jeez Louise! We're so much more powerful just by upgrading one piece of gear. That's crazy, dude. Okay, can we take on three at once, though? Let me use my ult just in case. Ugh. Also, spin to win. Oh, no, he stunned me. A, a fellow greatsword user, eh? Oh, he's... Uh... <laughs> well, that didn't last long. Ugh. I love that plunging attack, dude. I feel like we're actually, you know, doing something now. It's making a difference. Oh, gosh, these random frogs. Those random frogs are being disgusting. Here, let me lure in a couple of you guys, because this is, uh... If I'm just fighting one at a time, it's not really worthwhile, is it? No! Gary! The Megazord bug is destroyed. What is all of these sound effects that I just keep hearing? Oh, dude! I'll save you random mages! Look at them, just pegging them with arrows. Like, what a jerk! Why don't you fight somebody your own size? We have to save Merc's people, okay? Get him, Gary! Use those Megazord powers. Huh. I don't think so, gamers. I'm here, and I'll save you. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Bam! Big mistake coming back over to me, dude. Yeah, I'll fight them. I'm fighting all of them. Ugh. Maybe you can help me? Uh, dude, do you gotta be so mean about it? Cotton candy, delicious. The Enchanted Forest is full of steel empire. Oh, they're still, okay. I thought that they, I thought it was done uh, why he like randomly started talking to me, but nope, not yet. How many of these guys do we got to fight? Like, are we going to spend the entire episode here? The Enchanted Forest is still, oh my gosh. They seem to just keep, re are they respawning? Yeah, they are respawning. Another one actually just came down from the skies. Okay, this, uh, 
I would say that it's like really good, but we're not getting XP. So this is not good because we're just getting two gold coins per. I mean, I guess we're getting gear. So it is possibly like we, we are doing pretty good because of that. Because maybe we actually got some good gear out of all of this. Uh, is this going to end up being better than my ring? No, not really. Not better, not better, not better. Yeah. I don't know. Do we have to like save all of them? Or is there still... Oh my. There's a boss. That's probably what it is. Now he is going to end up being tough. Because these guys are already doing pretty good. Huh! Oh my gosh. This epic warrior's battle. You think that you can face me, but you cannot. Okay, he is, uh, this guy is really, really powerful. I gotta knock him down. There we go. So long as we keep him on the ground, then we're okay. And if we get our block up, why is a rogue using magics? Ugh. He also poisoned me, which is terrible. And one shot me. Great. That's awesome. So that means I would just have to redo it. Like he better not have healed out because otherwise that's just, he one shot me. Good old cube world up to its same old tricks. <laughs> like with him removing leveling, you would think that he would be smart enough to end up uh, nerfing the enemies because now we're not getting like passive stats anymore. You know, why was that guy so strong and just didn't end up like getting game overed? What was that? Why was he invincible? Like I was attacking him. Come on, Gary, you idiot, get up here. And nothing happened. He was so powerful, dude. Are they scaling? I think it was just glitched. I think something happened there. Also, oh, dual wielding. I completely forgot that that's a thing in this game for the warrior. That could possibly end up being like really, really powerful for us. All right, you. Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought you were just glitched, you idiot. There we go. Why would a warrior drop a staff is beyond me, but maybe, you know what we can do? I got an ultimate strat. What we're going to do is we're going to end up luring that boss over to these guys so that we can have a little bit of help. Why are they so powerful? Oh man, this game is so stupid sometimes, dude. Like, every single one of them, we're taking them on just fine. Now, suddenly, these ones are, like, super strong. What is with that? Jeez. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Never mind the side enemies, because they don't seem to do anything. Plus, they just keep respawning. So, technically, we could just guard uh, this whole area for infinite gear. But you know what I'm going to do? You. Come at me. Come on. Where's that little frog guy? Here, buddy. Help me out. Even though all you're really gonna do is take aggro and not do a very good job of it. But, but, with both of us doing this together, we might be able to stop him. I just gotta make sure that I keep my heels on and I gotta make sure that we also end up avoiding any of his super powered attacks, which I already took damage from it, unfortunately. I'm poisoned, so I'm just gonna play this the old school way, the cube world way. We're just going to heal out and just keep running for our lives and just keep on watching out for those special moves because he's going to do a charged attack again. He's got his purple. He's ready. He's got that purple glow around him, which means that he can end up doing a supercharged attack like he just did there, which ended up like hurting me a lot. So I'm going to use my life heal, use our ult, get him stuck around the tree because thankfully that still works in this game. <laughs> And let's just try and lay on as much hurt as we can. Okay, that just happened to be perfect timing. Just so happened. Let's use an our pot. Thankfully, we still have quite a few. Oh, gosh. All around the carpenter's bench, monkey chased a weasel. Except in this case, the weasel is a lizard using a two-handed sword. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, this guy. All right, let's use our ult. And with that, we should be able to lay on the pain. Okay, maybe not. We're not actually healing for some dumb reason. I don't know why. And I love how rolling cancels our eating animation still. We're almost out. We only have like one pot left. So we really got to be careful here. We really got to be careful here, gamers. But at least he's a warrior, so it's no problem. There we go. No problem when it's a warrior. Woo! 
So we got enough money to get another piece of legendary gear. So that's good. That actually, that was the boss that completed the dungeon. Cool. I mean, that took like the whole, like, the whole episode or something there, but jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, here's actually a legendary iron ax, which again, come to think of it, this thing is almost as powerful as our weapon. And I didn't realize that we can dual wield. So that would actually be way better because we just got to do this and this. Do I not have... I don't have any one-handed weapons. That's what's going on. Legendary mage armor too. Oh, jeez. I wish I got more legendaries myself. So we'll have to use our greatsword for now. And then otherwise... Yeah, this doesn't have the same attack animations, so it might not knock enemies down as much as the greatsword. It might not be worthwhile, but I'm assuming two legendaries is probably going to end up being way stronger than us just using this one piece of gear. I could be wrong about that, but at least we were able to do it. I want, I want to see what this star is over here, uh, and then we'll try and take on another dungeon? Maybe? But all that's left is the four stars, and the four stars are no joke, dude. They're really powerful. I really like the two-handed weapon. Like, they're really cool, but it just might not be as viable as if we're dual-wielding gamers. Okay, that's what I had starred. Caterpillars, because if I'm not mistaken, these guys eat the salad? Think so? That's what the wiki said. Well, the wiki was wrong. <laughs> I mean, these caterpillars are a new creature, so I'm not exactly sure. Maybe, maybe it was for something else, but okay. Well, either way, now I know that that's there, so I don't really, I don't really care about that. Maybe I could tame them, but it's, it's not that big a deal. I like our ranged creature. Now, unfortunately, one thing I've noticed is our ult doesn't seem to actually be scaling with our health. So our ult is becoming less and less useful the stronger we get, unfortunately. So, yeah. But anyways, this is a mana pump. I don't know what this quest entails. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I've seen these before. There's a lot of deadly enemies, so we're going to have to be very careful. But I think there's probably just a boss. I wonder what the mana pump does, though. Because I have, again, I've seen these before, and I don't know what they actually do for the biome. Let me just use my shout again. And then I think the boss is just chilling up here. So hopefully we'll be able to take him without aggroing too, too many creatures. If he's actually up here, he might not be. Well, anyways, you, on the other hand, are actually going down. And thankfully, he was extremely easy. See, there's the mana pump. I don't know what this thing actually is or how we actually interact with it. Like, can we do something with this? Examine. It says we can examine it, but... Oh, I see. So there's a thing on each corner. Maybe that's the point. You know, like we got to, I'm going to take a screeny weenie. Sorry about the beep sound. Maybe we got to go to each corner and destroy like those things. That would make sense. Gary, where are you? That Megazord is just, he's always gone, man. <laughs> he always leaves me. Oh, there's a boss here. Oh, great. And he's a warrior. Oh gosh, or an assassin again, so this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Hey, he is not really as resistant and powerful as that other boss that we just fought, thank goodness. And I'm also noticing too, our right click seems to actually block some attacks, which is kind of nice. I don't know how it works. I wish I could actually scan and see like what my abilities do because the game doesn't actually tell us. That was actually not bad. Yeah, that was actually not bad. Oh, and then we got to defeat the Mana Inductor. Well, this is cool. I don't know what it actually is or what we're doing here. I guess the point is the boss is trying to protect this thing. But yeah, I'm guessing we got to defeat all four of these. So this is definitely a combat episode. And then I wonder what's going to happen with this. Like the Mana Inductor, it's, it's a purple too. So it's like, is this going to end up somehow making us way stronger in the biome or... Uh, maybe it's going to just end up making the towns stronger or something. Like, what is this going to do for us? I don't know, but I'm excited to see. So the one up here is an archer, which means he's got some pretty devastating attacks. We might be a little bit more worse for the wear with fighting this guy. Maybe we'll be okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh. This guy seems to be a little bit stronger. I could be wrong. We still have our ult, so I can always use it worst case. 
but man a lot okay and now he's just like super duper strong and just hurt me like crazy and he just hurts me through the mana inductor that's great that's awesome what is attacking me because it isn't him oh this is a duplicate of himself oh man we're not gonna be able to fight this one dang it like, one step forward, two steps back. That is the entirety of this stupid game. Like, you think we're doing good, and then suddenly it just doesn't work anymore. And there's nothing I can do about it. Like, outside of just grinding, grinding, grinding for gold, so that we can go and buy, like, new gloves, a new amulet. Woo freaking who? That's not going to end up making me any stronger. Jeez, May and, and I'm not even sure if having dual wielded swords is going to end up being better for us. It might be, but I have no idea, dude. So anyways, let me see if we can end up finding, uh, maybe, maybe there'll be a weaker boss on one of the points. And then otherwise we do have enough gold that we could go town go to town and buy some, uh, legendary armor. And maybe it'll make that little bit of difference that we need. Maybe each of the mana pumps has like stronger enemies on each of them. Like it's like they get stronger and stronger and stronger. I don't know. This one seems to be a mage and I got to really be careful of those Geodude idiots over there. Maybe it would be better if I actually took care of the Geodudes. Yeah, because then uh, then we wouldn't have to deal with like, you know, dodging them while being able to hide behind this terrain. So this might work. It might not, because this guy is considerably powerful being a mage. But at least he doesn't have as much defense as that other guy did. I'm just watching my health right now. I'm trying to make sure that we're not taking absurd amounts of damage, which we are right now. But at least we seem to have that lifesteal going on. I'm going to wait for Gary to try and protect me here. Oh, gosh. Just got to keep making sure that I knock him on the ground. And unfortunately, this is not the best place to be hiding from him. So far, so good. So far, so good. He could always one-shot me. Oh gosh, I'm knocked on the ground. Oh, there we go. Whoo, whoo, that was good. And we actually got legendary gloves, which means thankfully I don't have to buy legendary gloves. Never mind, they were for a different class. Great, that's awesome. Well, at least we got one of these dumb mana inductors down. I wish that they would end up giving me gear for my class when I'm in single player. It doesn't make any sense that they're giving gear for other characters. Yeah, look at this. This mana inductor is way stronger than the other one. So I think, I think each mana inductor is probably like a stronger and stronger enemy. And maybe that ranger was just the strongest one because his abilities were crazy, dude. I also noticed that some of these enemies are actually... Oh, we did this one already. Huh. Some of these enemies are uh, three star and then some of them are four star. That's why some of them are just like a walk in the park when we end up fighting them. Okay, over there we've got another ranger. Just this one's got a boomerang, which boomerangs are a very, very spammy attack in this game. So this could end very badly for us. We might not be able to take him because boomerangs just bang, 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 bang. They don't do much damage, but when they do hit, they, they're really good at knocking you down just because they'll just attack you like crazy and this guy's possessed too maybe all the other ones were as well honestly but uh this could go very badly come on come on down here man okay so far so good except that none of my attacks are registering this is awesome can i please just knock him down can i please just knock him down jeez that was all up to my little minion to knock him down dude he is just annihilating me man Oh man, goodness gracious. Okay, let's just try and try and play it nice and safe here. I think it's when he's doing that charged attack. That's when he's just annihilating me. Can I get some lifesteal going, please? Oh my gosh. Gary? Gary, please? We gotta be nice and tactical here. Keep running. You might think it's the coward's way out, but no. This is the way you fight in this game. Oh gosh. I just keep on tagging him. <laughs> I'm trying to knock him down. This guy just won't fall over. Like that's the problem, dude. No, 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 no. I am not going to have him annihilate me at the end here. Why is he a mage using an explosive attack suddenly? 
Like, what was that? Destroy him, Gary. Once and for all. There. Woo! Ooh, okay. And we got some uh, legendary shoulder pads, which are useless for me because we already have shoulder pads. Everything else, not so great. Oh my goodness. Why are there like candy boots? Oh, at least we got a Baron necklace, so that's not bad. And then is this a... No, that's still our great axe. What am I thinking? This is... Oh, this is better than our purple one. It gives us more crit and more regeneration, which to me is probably better than having... No, that's a lot of haste, actually. That gives us a lot more attack speed. Now all that's left is that other archer. And if I play it smarter like we did just there, we might be able to take him on. Yeah, so this guy's down on the ground now. So this shouldn't be as tough to deal with just because we can actually hide around the corners here. Gary's already been eliminated. That's awful. This guy's also got a charge shot already ready, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, he's so powerful, dude. He's so powerful. This might not work out, gamers. I don't know. I just gotta keep playing it nice and smart. Okay, and I didn't know that we can actually use our right click attack to block like absurd amounts of damage. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Come on. There we go. Here we go. So long as I just keep strafing around him, we seem to be doing okay. We're doing okay. I don't want to jinx it yet. There we go. Woo! All right. So is there going to be an ultimate boss in the center now or what? Yeah, why I got destroyed by that guy the first time is just I, I wasn't being cautious enough. Like, we still have to use the same old cube world tactics where you, like, hide around stuff. But anyways, let me destroy this. Oh, we got to see if we got good gear. Uh, nothing that I can use. Of course. Of course, I just get more stuff for other characters. I mean, the thing that's weird is because leveling isn't in this game, there's no requirement for gear. So technically I could just have a friend join and then I could literally just bump them up to legendary gear because I can just drop all this for them. Like, I, okay, <laughs> whatever. Now let's see if it lets us actually interact with the mana pump. Oh gosh, there is a boss here and he's a mage. Oh boy, this is gonna be even worse. This is gonna be even worse and there's no thing to hide behind. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Like, I can't do anything if he's just gonna keep using his laser. I guess I'll just keep running like an idiot. Come on. No! Not today, you stupid mage. This is a skill-based game. Trust me. I'll be able to beat him somehow, right? Okay, not if my attacks don't actually register because this game's stupid. Like, I love that jump attack never doing anything. That's just awesome. Why did it have to be a mage? Like, seriously. This guy is such a jerk. Like, it's like, he, he knows that the mage is the strongest enemy in the game for all the wrong reasons, because his ability just spams you and doesn't have a cooldown. Like, oh, this is tilting me so much, dude. But we'll we'll get him. We'll get him, gamers. So help me. We're going to see what this mana pump does today. I wonder if it would be better for me to actually be using a shield. Like, I don't know how the blocking actually works in this game, but it might be more effective. I think it also might pay off if I lure this guy all the way down here because it's much easier for me to hide behind square objects than it is around this weird circular thing. I mean, not that it's like actually circular, but you guys know what I mean, right? So is this going to work? Can you get down here, dum-dum? Yeah, you know what? Get down here. Get down here. Yes. You faced me for the last time, mage. Oh gosh, he's so powerful. Like he just slowly whittles me down just with his basic attack, dude, let alone like his supercharged moves. Oh gosh. Okay, he's gotta climb all the way back up. This could work out. This could work out. So long as I just keep pushing him down, if I ever can, there we go. And then we can use in our heroic shout and he's gotta climb all the way back up again. Ha ha ha. Fool! I have the high ground, Anakin. You cannot hope to best me. This worked out, man. This worked out. This worked out great. Like, look at this. He's stuck. Because anytime he wants to fight me, he's got to start climbing up. Oh, gosh. I fell. Oh, gosh. This could end up... Oh, gosh. This could backfire. 
This could backfire. <laughs> it's okay. We still have the skills. We still have the skills. Right? So long as we keep him knocked down. Ah! Foolish mage! To take on the Lizard King, you will have to be much stronger than that. <sighs> Nobody tell him that guy was actually very formidable. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Jeez. Okay, so now we can finally get this done, right? And see what this actually does. This better have been worth it. Out of all of this, this better be worth it. Like, is this going to drop, like, a bunch of items? Or is it going to end up helping me out in the, like, whole biome or something? I don't know. I also noticed when we have our buff in the top left, that's when we can cast our right click, like, almost instantaneously. Because I kept wondering, like, how come I can use it really fast sometimes and then other times I can't? But it's so long as we end up having that life steal ability active or berserk mode or something. But it's like, I don't know how to actually activate that. It just kind of seems to be at random and has an internal cooldown. Anyways, there we go. You destroyed a mana pump. The mana absorption effect was reduced. What mana absorption effect? What are you talking about? We got a legendary ring though. Ding-a-ling-a-ding. -a -a -ding. What mana absorption? Did we have less MP? Will we have more MP now? Is that what it's trying to tell me? I don't know, gamers. I don't know. But we'll have to find out in the next episode, everybody. We still got a recipes over here, which possibly can let us uh, craft a legendary weapon. And uh, other than that, we've got more gold. So I don't know if I want to necessarily end up uh, buying ourselves a, a legendary one-handed weapon. Because I want to try dual wielding the legendary weapon that we have right now. But at the same time, I really like the two-handed weapons, dude. And I would much rather just have a legendary two-handed weapon. Yeah. So anyways, next episode, we're going to be starting some of the more difficult dungeons. We still got this tower over here with the mage that's OP. And there's nowhere to hide from that guy. And then whatever's over here might be what we do next. But so far, as far as our gear is concerned, we're doing pretty okay. We can still get ourselves legendary gloves in town if we want to actually buy it. Same with a necklace, possibly. But the weapon's the big thing that I want to get my hands on, dude. And I think it's going to pay off for me to experiment with using dual wielding or just using a shield. Because it might end up giving us that little bit of survivability that we're missing. Either way, smash the like, sub for more. If you want to support the channel, buy some of the merch link in the description. You can get this shirt, this hat, everything else. Sign on, stay epic gamers.